are you still in that relationship even though you are not happy? Why are you still with that man even though he's not giving you what you want? You don't have peace. You don't have money. You don't have the luxurious lifestyle that you've always dreamt of. But still you are in that relationship. Why? Oh, you think when he leaves you, you're not going to get anyone better? You think he's the only one that finds you attractive? You think you are too ugly that no man is going to see you? You think, oh, it's too late for me to start all over again? Come closer, sis. I have a message for you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Seaboss and I am the guest mama. In today's video, I'll be talking about self-confidence. How to move on. How to get back your confidence. I realize that a lot of ladies fight with themselves. Some of us don't love ourselves no more. We find it difficult to accept ourselves, to accept our body, to accept our life, how it is. We are there, we are out there comparing our lives to those on social media. We are comparing our body size to those Instagram models. Because with the social media world now, everyone has a perfect body. Everyone has a perfect skin. Everyone has a perfect body size. No one has no error in their body. And because you have one or two scars on your body, you start thinking you are not human. You are less human. You start thinking, I am not beautiful. Some of you go as far as calling yourselves ugly girls. Then I'm asking, why would someone actually want to call themselves an ugly girl? Why? Someone chatted me on my WhatsApp the other time. She said, eh, see, can you save my number? And as I was about saving it, what I saw was ugly girl. Why would someone name themselves ugly girl? Let's say maybe it's a nickname you decided to call yourself. Why would you even think of calling yourself an ugly girl? What happened to your self-confidence, sis? What happened to it? What happened to you calling yourself a pretty girl? Listen, everybody is pretty. No matter the shape of your, your, your body, no matter your skin tone, no matter the shape of your head, no matter the shape of your face, everybody is beautiful. Now look at this. Look at it this way. You go to a place, you see mirror. Like at, at my gym, you see like three or four mirrors. There are plenty of mirrors. One mirror will show you that you are very fine. Very slim, fine lines figure. Another one will show you that you are very fat and ugly. You will now tell yourself that is that one that told you you are fat and ugly that is saying the truth. That this one that said you were slim and fine, it's not saying the truth. That is your mindset. That is someone that has lost their self confidence. That is a mindset of someone who is battling with low self esteem. Girl, you need to raise your esteem. And do you wonder why some people are still in abusive relationship or marriage? It is also because of low self esteem. They've been thinking that, okay, you know what? This person is the best for me. If I go out there, no one is going to accept me for who I am because, because I'm probably too fat to get a much better man, or I'm too dark to get a much better man, or I'm too short to get a much better man. Instead of me to go out there, let me just, let me just manage. And you are there managing whilst you are not happy, you are draining, you are losing, you're going crazy. Instead of you to boost up, instead of you to bust up and come out, you are there saying, oh, I will manage. Because you think no one is going to love you. Girl, I tell you today, stand up. Get dressed. Start looking pretty again. You see, that whole mindset of um, you, are, you are ugly, you are this, you are that. Clear it up and replace it with opposite. Start telling yourself that you are beautiful and you deserve every good thing that life has to offer. Do not take disrespect from anyone. When I say do not take disrespect from anyone, I mean anyone that makes you feel less of yourself. If you have a friend, a colleague, family member that always make you look down on yourself, that always want to make you doubt yourself, that always want to make you lose your self-confidence, girl, block and delete you see me how I am right now. If you come and tell me, eh, hey, precious, you are getting fat. I swear to God, I will slap you. Because I know how much work I have put into losing so much weight. And you as a fool that you are, you come and tell me. And because trust me, it is those 
family relatives, your friends, people that you're really cool with, that will come and tell you how, how fat you are looking, how ugly you are looking. If you try to bring down myself, I will give you a good slap. I don't care who you are. You can take me to police station. Let's go there. That is how I am ready right now. I have told myself, I said, listen, no one is going to bring down your self-confidence. So I'm telling you today, do not take it from anybody. You are beautiful. Like I always say, if you don't, if you don't like how you look, look for a solution. Find a solution. If you are fat and you don't like being fat, you cannot accept your body how it is, then go get to the gym. I think there's something called Zimbic or something, something now that people have been using to lose weight. You can go for that too. If you can afford surgery, if you can afford um, gastric bypass, you can do all of these things. Do it. If you can, if you can try and discipline yourself into dieting, do it. That is if you cannot accept yourself how you are. And if you are too slim, you also see people that say, hey, you want to disappear? Are you sick? Blah, 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 blah. That is to tell you that people will always have something to say about you. The mistake that you will make is wanting to please everybody. Listen, people can never be pleased, no matter how hard you try. Even if you die, the day they will bury you, they will still come and say the casket they used to bury you is not fine enough. Or they will say the food they gave them at your funeral is not sweet. People will always have negative things to say about you. So that is the more reason why you shouldn't live to impress any motherfucker. Listen, girl, it's time you wake up. It is time you start looking good. You start looking happy. You start wearing those clothes that you've always been wearing. Don't let anybody tell you, eh, at your age, are you still a child? How can you be wearing this kind of clothes? Go wear them. I'm not saying you should go naked. No, wear them. Oh, how can you be doing this kind of makeup? Girl, do it. How can you wear this kind of wig? Girl, wear it. Do not listen to what anybody has to tell you about your life. It is your life. God has given you this life and God has given you full control over your life. So it is you that is going to control your life on how to live your life. Don't listen to nobody. Some people will say, I mean well for you. Tell them, don't, don't mean well for me. Mean well for your family member. I am not your family member. You will not tell me what to do. Girl, wake up. Fix yourself. Start doing things that you've been doing before. That thing that you know whenever you do it, it makes you happy. Sister, go back and start doing it. And I don't want to see anybody say my name is ugly. Don't try that. If you are if you are my girl here and you have my WhatsApp number, you chat me and I want to save your number, I see ugly. I swear I'll block you straight. I don't need no negative energy this year. I am fully ready. And I am, I am ready to drag those that are also ready along. If you don't want to go, I leave you. Stop comparing your life. Now, let me tell you something. Nobody is perfect. Everybody you see out there, those celebrity. Okay, so I met one at my gym the other time. And it was, it was, it was last week, Friday. It was on Friday, yes. I saw one um, very popular celebrity in my gym. I looked at her. I looked at her again. And I quickly went on Instagram. I followed her on Instagram. I checked her Instagram. I looked at her. Man, there was a huge difference. That is to tell you that nobody is going to show you their ugly side on Instagram. They will show you what you want to see. And that is the perfect picture of them. That is the more reason why you should accept yourself for who you are. If your relationship is not favoring you no more, if you're no longer happy in your relationship, girl, get out. I promise you today that you're going to find a perfect man. You're going to find someone better than this guy you are with right now. You are thinking this man is doing you a favor? Oh, because you think, ah, I'm too fat. This man loves me like that. If I leave this relationship, will I, will I be able to get someone who is going to love me because I'm fat? Oh, I'm too short. And um, this person is dating me. If I leave this person, will I be able to date and uh, someone who... Some of you, this, this low self-esteem has eaten you so much that... If somebody is even complimenting you, you don't know how to accept compliment no more. When somebody tells you, beautiful girl, when somebody tries to, you know, hail you, tell you how beautiful you are, you tell them, mm -hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, uh, we used to say, you are whining me. Did they whine? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Learn how to accept compliments. When people compliment you, when men compliment you, when you go out, Accept it. Thank you. Me even right now, if you tell me you are beautiful, I tell you I know. Of course I know I'm beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. 
I know I haven't forgotten, but just thank you for even telling me. Girl, you need to start doing those things you used to do before. If you are too dark and there's a way you can tune your skin, you know I'm 100% in support of it. Tune it. If you are too short, of course, we don't, we don't have any remedy for height, but you just have to accept it and start working on heels. At least with, um, the heels will, will boost your self-confidence a little bit, maybe it will bring you up. But I, I just want to tell, I just want to tell you this: accept yourself for who you are. When you accept yourself, other people will see the pretty in you. Other people will see the sweetness in you. Other people will see the beauty in you. What you see yourself as is what other people see you as. If you say you are ugly, other people see you as ugly. If you say you are pretty, other people see you as pretty. You need to start speaking highly of yourself. You need to start telling yourself all the good things. You need to start complimenting yourself. You need to start reminding yourself how best you are, how beautiful you are, how well and deserving you are. Don't sit down there and allow people perception about you bring you down or what people think about you. I will just leave you with this, whether you like it or not. People will always have something, especially something negative to say about you. Leave them. You see those clothes, start wearing them again. You see those shoes, start wearing them again. You see those parties, start attending them again. You see that this life, start living this life again. Life is very sweet. Life is worth living. Find every reason to be happy. Find every reason to appreciate life. Find every reason to embrace life and you will be happy. You will be glad you did it. Okay guys, so I'll leave you with this today. See you in my next video. Bye.